is your moment. Have it. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Nelly Bill Reviews RuPaul's Drag Race. You guys. Well, subscribe, follow, all that other stuff, blah, blah, blah. This episode, this was the best episode of the season so far. So this week was the comedy challenge. Now these, this is one of my favorite challenges in Drag Race. Um, we were also extra lucky this week because we did get a mini challenge. What was the challenge? It was a Harlem Vogue dance ball. Before we talk about the mini challenge, did you, uh, did, who's, who saw the drama? The Vogan community was not happy about Mama Rue doing this challenge, this mini challenge on the show. You know what? I'm going to be honest. I get that you want people to respect your art and that it's not just a game to people. I understand that. But at the same time, don't gatekeep. Anyway, so the mini challenge was great. Really, the only person who didn't really give it to me was Lucy. You, you always talk about, I got moves, honey. Just wait till I got the lips. Baby, I've yet to see these moves. Selena, uh, she was another one. Was a... <sighs> but she, she, did, she did her best. She had more moves than Lucy. I... Anitra ended up winning the mini challenge. I see how she won, but I don't know. Mistress was right up there. So for the Maxi Challenge this week, they had to do a stand-up comedy bit with a partner. The girls had to pick a can of bubbly. If you had the same can, you were gonna do your five minute bit together. That left Selena without a partner. But of course there was a twist. RuPaul allowed her to steal a partner or she could perform alone. Me personally, I think I just would have gone alone, but that's not what, Selena did. Selena wanted a cushion, so she stole Mistress from Marsha, leaving Marsha to have to perform by herself. I understand you, why you would not want to be on stage alone. If I was in that position, I think I would be afraid to pick someone because what if the person that I steal doesn't want to be with me? Then they're going to be salty and not do well, okay? What if the person who ends up going by themselves, they do good, they win, and then later down the line, they take it out on me. And then I'm ended up in a disadvantage because I stole their partner in a past episode. What if the person I steal ends up being dead weight? I thought they were gonna be good, but they're not funny. And then I'm like, damn, I could have just did this by myself. So I don't know. So because Anitra won the mini challenge, she got to pick the order in which the girls would perform. Anitra put Marsha first, which Marsha was okay with because she was like, let me just get it over with. Then Anitra placed Lucy and Lux to go second, which was an interesting pairing that they ended up together because they were bickering earlier in the morning. In third, you were gonna have Sasha and Anitra. Okay, fine. And then last you had Selena and Mistress. So when the girls are going over their bits, some of the other girls were making fun of Marsha for talking to herself and talking out loud. I'm like, well, the girls gotta rehearse. Like, why are we making fun of her? I didn't understand that. Like, mind your business. And then here's the thing that got me. So Anitra and Sasha are sitting down, they're trying to go over their jokes, and then all of a sudden Anitra falls ill with a, a migraine. Girl, look, girl, it seems very convenient that now all of a sudden you have a migraine and you can't contribute. Now Sasha, she seemed like she was being nice and trying to be supportive, but if I was Sasha, I'd be like, really? If that migraine messed you up during the day, baby, you better stay up all night rehearsing and, and coming up with some good jokes. So it's the next day and the girls are in the mirror. They're getting ready and these things. And someone, I think, either asked Marsha if she was nervous because she's the only one who had to go solo. And, or maybe she brought it up on her own, I don't know. And so she was like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little nervous. And then so Lux, and I think it was Lucy, were like, yeah, girl. I would be nervous too. I would be a nervous wreck, girl. Just imagine being up there by yourself. Like you, you have every right to be nervous. And so Mistress kind of thinks that Lux and Lucy are trying to get inside of Marsha's head to, you know, make her even more nervous. I don't know. I could see where Lux and Lucy could be playing mind games, but also, I don't know. I don't know that they were. I, I think that Lux was trying to 
uh, just kind of talk it out with Marsha and see where her head was at. I don't know if it was mind games or not, but it could have been. So we get to the performance. Marsha comes out. She did great in the rehearsal, but on stage, she the jokes, they just weren't landing. So then Lucy and Lux come out. They actually ended up doing really good. And they did so good that I would recommend them touring together. What I really like about them is that they were able to work together and be professional, put the, you know, the pettiness aside and get the job done. Then Sasha and Nitra took, got on stage and I was like, no. So after Sasha and Anitra got done stinking up the stage, Selena and Mistress came out. Now, I feel like Selena and Mistress, their set had the potential to be really funny and to be good, but I don't think that they edited it in the right way. Selena actually ended up, <laughs> Selena actually ended up doing pretty good. Mistress, I don't know what happened. So let's move on to Runway. This week's theme for Runway, it was rip her to shred. So I was like, okay, this is gonna be interesting. Anitra, I mean, I'm bored. I feel like we've seen her in this before. It's fine. Lucy, love the garment, hate the makeup and the hair. What is the make? Even the hair, I could kind of accept if the makeup was different, but the, the makeup, baby, what is this? Lux. Now, Lux, I think this is the first time, at least that I can remember, that somebody made RuPaul actually cry over a runway. Now, why was RuPaul crying? I mean, obviously, like, this is a really cool look, but this is actually a, a remake of something that RuPaul wore back when he was in a punk rock band. Sucking up to the host is a very smart move, and it was done correctly. Marsha, oh baby girl, okay, um, your performance was already weak. You needed this strong runway. And not that this runway is awful. What hurt her is that if you if you say, huh, this looks familiar, that's because it is. Lucy had just done this look a couple weeks before. Marsha does so, she knows how to make garments, she knows how to, you know, make an outfit so she could have done some changes but i think she spent most of her time trying to have some kind of a presentable uh presentation that she had to uh you know decide am i going to spend time making a new garment or am i going to try to not fall on my face during the performance when she turned around she had like a patch of hair ripped out of her head and it was like glitter there the details and stuff were good but baby we just saw this look on the runway and Mistress, you know, I I wasn't in love with it. I didn't hate it. It, it. it was decent, but I think what what broke it for me was is something about the petticoat that doesn't work for me. The petticoat is what goes up under the the dress to make it like full, right? I feel like the petticoat it stopped short. Like you see how it like curves and then it just falls flat. Like maybe the petticoat wasn't long enough. But I don't know if, if that was intentional. I don't know why. And I'm not crazy about the color palette. Selena's look, while the message was great, I I wasn't, I really, I didn't get the look. Now, she this, this runway was a dedication to her mother. So this was a tribute to her mother who, um, who migrated from Mexico and she was trying to represent the struggle of crossing over the border and, and these things. Um, like I said, I love the message, but the garment just wasn't right. And the walk of what she was doing, she was trying to pretend like she was her mother, like she was running and escaping. And, and um, I don't know, it didn't translate the way that I think she wanted it to. The concept was there. The execution just needed a little bit of tweaking. Sasha. Everybody lived for this. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm bored. I feel like I've seen it before. It's a nice look, but it's not. It, it, I don't know, I just feel like I've seen this before. Sorry, Sasha, but that's just what, that's just what it is. So the winners of the Maxi Challenge are Lucy and Lux. The two who have been fighting got a win together. 
leaving in the bottom Anitra and Marsha. Do I agree with the two that were in the bottom? Um, I guess so. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? You have Anitra and Marsha, and oh my gosh, this was the best lip sync. I mean, it was delicious. They lip synced to Boss Beat by Doja Cat, and it was, you know, that's already a hype song. I really thought it was gonna be a double Shantae, but Rue ended up sending Marsha home, and Anitra won the lip sync. You know, I hate to see Marsha go, especially uh, this way, but you know, you know, no, no Sade, it's just, you know, Marsha, you know, that's my girl, whatever. Marsha, maybe we'll see you in an all-stars, honey. Good luck to you, keep doing what you're doing. And uh, Anitra, congratulations on winning the lip sync. And Lucy and Lux, congratulations on winning the maxi challenge. Week, my front runners are still gonna be Mistress and Lux, who I, 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 I'm predicting them to win the whole thing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So, keep voguing, keep noging, and uh, make it do what it is. Okay, bye!